China, okay. China, good country, good country. Good country. McDonald's is growing faster overseas than it is in the U.S. And with over 4,000 locations already in the country, here are 10 reasons why McDonald's is thriving in China. Fascination with Western culture. Just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. China was basically a closed market following World War II until about 30 years ago, when China opened its economy up to foreign businesses. And it didn't take long for fast food giants to make their way over there and set up shop. Giants like Starbucks, Pizza Hut, KFC, and yes, you guessed it, McDonald's, all opened stores within a short time frame of one another. McDonald's arrived in Shenzhen during the early 1990s. And and the trends and fascination younger generations in China have with Western culture were an influential part of the success these brands are seeing there. And what was something that could give the population a literal taste of Western culture? Food particularly fast food with American roots, something different and uncommon from both popular and traditional Chinese dishes. Heading out to a restaurant like McDonald's created a new experience. The fast food chain was something worldly, representing a taste of another region of the globe. Imagine if hamburgers and coffee weren't an everyday option, but you heard about them at great lengths from people and ads all over the world. You'd also want to find out more about these beloved foods and drinks. Having access to and enjoying things from the West also became a status symbol. China's fascination with Western culture is one of the top reasons why McDonald's restaurants are thriving in China. But it's not the only reason for the fast food giant's success there. You have to be versatile. We can't just be a one-trick pony. Making use of technology. You're recording. For research purposes. Technology is another factor why McDonald's has found success around the world and in China. It's no secret that McDonald's has always kept up with tech advances, like those in self-serve kiosks. And the addition of self-serve kiosks has also helped McDonald's thrive in China. Instead of waiting in line, you can order immediately when you walk in. On top of having the kiosks, they also have apps where customers can place their orders online. But mine's more of a social sharing on the line that's happening. Online. Quick interjection, when you keep saying on the line, you do mean online. In fact, according According to one news outlet, 90% of all transactions in China happen digitally. This not only creates a quick and easy ordering system for McDonald's customers, but it also allows McDonald's to collect more data and information about their customers and their spending habits and preferences. And when McD's has a better idea of what their customers like, they can better meet their needs and create an experience that's enjoyable and will keep them coming back for more. That definitely sounds like a recipe for a thriving restaurant. The Scooter Delivery delivery service. You have to go 42 blocks in seven and one half minutes. Another reason why McDonald's is thriving in China is due to fast food delivery. Getting food delivered is always an amazing way to enjoy a meal with minimal effort. And sure, in the United States, there are things like Skip the Dishes and Uber Eats where you can order your favorite McDonald's menu items. But in China, you can order delivery directly from McDonald's themselves. When their delivery service first launched in China, McDonald's had put together a fleet of 300 small motors cycles with the drivers in uniform. These drivers could more easily navigate the city and deliver meals right to your door, strapped to the driver's backs, of course. McD started offering delivery service in 2007 in China. One of the reasons for the early adoption of food delivery in China is because many of the restaurant's locations were in buildings with no possibility of adding a drive through So the scooter delivery system was much more practical in many areas. McD's delivery was ahead of its time in China, as things like Uber Eats and Skip the Dishes didn't come about until about five years later. Who knows, maybe one day the ability to order straight from McDonald's will be an option in places like the United States. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Cheapskate. New to Babbletop? Then how about hitting that subscribe button? It's free and you don't have to travel very far. Thanks. Additions to the McD's menu. Doing an analysis of the uh, secret sauce. If you didn't know it already, beef is not a very common protein source in China. Instead, pork and chicken are more common ingredients in Chinese dishes. This, of course, posed a bit of a challenge for McDonald's and its ability to break into the Chinese market. One solution was to make additions to the menu that appealed to Chinese palates and preferences. If you were to visit a McDonald's in China, you'd find an array of menu options unavailable in the United States. Then my palate will die happy. They list dishes and drinks like red bean boba tea, taro pie, 
taro is a type of sweet potato that's purple in color and often used in sweet dishes like desserts, spicy McWings, pineapple pie, different colored burgers, black, white, and silver, and breaded pork, just to name a few. The attention that McDonald's gives to different market preferences and tastes is something the franchise does around the world, not just in China. Their global reach has involved them paying close attention to food trends and styles in the areas where they want to add restaurants. This attention to specialized menu offerings helps the restaurant gain new patrons and thrive all over the world. Trust in the brand. Why is trust the most important thing in making a breakthrough? Trust is an important factor when it comes to food consumption. Yeah. People want to feel confident that what they're eating isn't going to cause them serious harm. China has had national food issues over the years that have created distrust between the people and their food sources. Food scandals that have not just shaken the public's faith in its own food system, but have also had serious, harmful, and deadly consequences. The scandals in China have included the sale of cooking oil cut with raw sewage, the use of leather in drinks like bubble tea, and much more painfully, contamination of baby milk with melamine, a chemical used for fertilizers and plastics that caused 50 deaths and 30,000 infants to become sick in 2008. Needless to say, trust in food production and the safety of the food being sold has become a predominant concern for the citizens of China. In an article, a professor of strategy and economics at Georgetown's McDonough School of Business stated that the Chinese consumer doesn't trust anything. They don't trust their food, they don't trust their water, they don't trust the air they breathe. And while this could have been difficult for restaurants arriving from the United States, there's actually more trust in the American outlets. It's a common concept that food from companies like McDonald's and other American-based brands are held to a higher food standard. As a result, there's more trust given to these food brands. Even after exposés like a video of food production sites picking meat up off the floor and accusations of water pollution made by McDonald's Chinese suppliers, the brand has continued to thrive. Part of this trust and continued success can be attributed to the fact that McDonald's created its own supply chain within China that had to meet McDonald's food standards. Xinren means trust, to have faith. McCafe Operations I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. Trust in the McDonald's brand and in other American brands has helped McDonald's thrive in China and, in turn, step into markets like coffee with its McCafe brand. China is known for being a place that drinks tea rather than coffee, but in recent years, coffee brands have been doing well there, including Starbucks and McDonald's McCafe. According to World Coffee Portal, there is a growing demographic in China interested in coffee consumption. In fact, the McDonald's China CEO reports that McCafe has grown incredibly fast in the last two years. It's become the second largest coffee shop in China, and according to a business report, McCafe shows no intention of slowing down. I think I'd like to try a cappuccino today. They'll be investing $380 million to continue expanding the brand in China to include 2,500 new McCafe locations. The report goes on to explain that it will be differentiating itself from its main competitor, Starbucks, by appealing to the growing Chinese middle class by offering more affordable affordable prices in a market where coffee consumption is showing signs of growing. Getting into this growing market for coffee in the early stages is helping McDonald's get a strong hold on the local market and establish locations that will help the McCafe brand grow and thrive all over China. Status Symbol the most valuable status symbol of today. The purchase of all things Western, including food, has become somewhat of a status symbol, and Western culture is a common fascination with China's younger generations. Part of the fascination with getting things from around the world is it's seen as a sign of wealth, and the more expensive, the better. That's why Western brands that expand into China often create a more upscale experience that attracts a higher-paying clientele. Brands like Pizza Hut have rebranded themselves to be more upscale and driven for this demographic. There's a willingness to pay more for an American brand. In fact, it's said that brands can charge up to three times more for products in China than they do in the United States. One reported example includes Haagen-Dazs ice cream, which in the United States typically sells for $4.87, but in China, it sells for the equivalent of $14.29. This, of course, means a much higher profit margin for the company, and this includes the Golden Arches. Symbols are a language. Location, location, location. 
It's all about location, location, location. Location isn't only important when people are shopping for homes, it's also important when it comes to choosing out a prime spot for businesses, and definitely for restaurants. The choice of locations has definitely been an influential factor in McDonald's' ability to thrive in China. When McDonald's first entered the market in China, they moved into high traffic and densely populated areas. I will sell this house today. The key cities that McDonald's and other popular American fast food restaurants first moved into were the major cities of Beijing, Guangzhou, and Shanghai, because these are the most densely populated cities in the country. On top of this, these known restaurant franchises moved into areas where tourists frequent. This gives the restaurants multiple markets and potential for profits, a tourist market and a residential market. Clearly, McD's knows there is more to success than just making Big Macs. You've got to know where best to sell Set up shop to peddle your wares. Green initiatives. Less power and greener power. More and more green operating technology is becoming part of big businesses, and that includes McDonald's China, which is focused on green building initiatives for the brand. This is appealing to its younger, climate-conscious customers. McDonald's China has been leading the way with their LEED certified green buildings. The U.S. Green Building Council says McDonald's China already has over 1,500 green buildings, and the brand will continue to add more to that total. They've even unveiled a net zero building that produces no carbon emissions in Beijing. The building features solar panels, and the location offers discounts for those who walk or bike there and even has sustainable menu options. The continued creation of green buildings for their China locations must mean that McDonald's is doing something right to appeal to the Chinese market, so their green initiatives deserve a shout-out. And who knows, maybe these green buildings will make their way to other McDonald's locations around the world, since the demand for more green, sustainable initiatives keeps on growing. Greening the walls and roofs of our buildings could create a rich and extensive habitat. It's advertisements and marketing. It's a big commercial announcement for Astounding Products. Hi! Advertising is a powerful way to let the public know about your business and maintain a thriving brand. Of course, we're all familiar with the ads and marketing that McDonald's implements in places like the United States, where they often partner with celebrities. And we all know the slogan, I'm loving it. In China, the advertising McDonald's has put in place is tailored to the common interests and demographics in the area. This includes things like being inspired by beloved Chinese video games. At one time, McDonald's China developed special packaging for their meals to look like a popular Chinese video game. According to the South China Morning Post, a huge part of McDonald's success can be attributed to its digital marketing strategies, like offering things like coupons via common digital payment platforms. By doing this, McDonald's is appealing to its huge network of customers who primarily order digitally. As we said, advertising is a powerful player in helping a business thrive, and McDonald's has certainly utilized its marketing and advertising efforts around the globe to become a thriving top player in the fast food world. And the way McDonald's has approached its advertising and marketing campaigns in China has helped it to succeed and thrive there. Then don't wait another minute. Pick up your phone and call the professionals. We've got more than McD's on our menu, so stick around and tap on another great video. And show us some love and tap that subscribe button and that bell to join our notification squad.